Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bridging the Gap Between Sports and Education. And this morning, I have the proud pleasure to interview a very outstanding young man here in the Kansas City, Missouri area, Mr. Quentin Jennings. Good morning, Quentin. Good morning, Jim. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate uh, it's it. It's a pleasure for you to be here this morning. And you are a citizen here in the United States, and you live where? I live here in Kansas City, Missouri, and, and a citizen in Missouri and the United States. Uh, very good. And tell us a little bit about who Quentin is. I am uh, from Blue Springs, Missouri. Uh, I was raised by a single mother here. And uh, from Blue Springs, I went to uh, the University of Massachusetts. And um, from there, I went to the University of Missouri, Columbia uh, School of Law. Okay, then. And did you play football on the collegiate? I actually, I played football um, right after high school. I went to Drake University and played football and ran track there. Very good. Very good. And you said you were raised by a single, single mom. Yes, I was. Very good. And looked like she did a pretty good job. I like to think so. I like to think I so. I think she did a pretty good job. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I want to hear about Quentin. We want people to tell people who Quentin is, okay? Sure. Well, uh, I, uh, when I, getting out of high school, uh, my mother always told me that uh, education was the most important thing. Uh, she was the first person in our family to actually attend college. And so as I was growing up, you know, athletics was very important, but um, she really instilled in me that um, uh, you got to get the education to actually go further. I knew I wasn't going to go NFL like my esteemed uh, business partner, Corby Jones. Okay. Uh, but uh, she always told me, you know, get those grades up and um, you'll be able to be very successful. Now, did you go to grade school in Blue Springs? Um, actually, I went to Redemptorist. It's a Catholic school here until the fifth grade on, uh, on 27th and Linwood. Right. And I went to Catholic school there until the fifth grade. And uh, then my mom moved me out to Blue Springs. Very good. Now, and you played football in high school, did you? Yes, I did. I, I started football. Um, I didn't play football until my junior year in high school. And um, I was very blessed and had lots of opportunities to go to various um, institutions. And um, I ended up getting injured my, uh, I guess my senior year. I went from a preseason All-American to not getting recruited at all. And so that was, um, that really was a different experience for me. Um, and so that, I think that's where education really came into play. Well, let me ask you a question. What was your favorite subject in, uh, in high school? Um, actually, it was, uh, history was my favorite subject. I, I loved learning about, you know, reading about, you know, Martin Luther King, uh, John F. Kennedy. Um, I, I loved history. Very good. You ever think you might teach it? You know, I, I'm not, uh, I don't think I would ever teach anything, but I love to, um, I, I love mentoring individuals. I think that, um, you know, being involved, my partner and I being involved in Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and, um, you know, we always love to give back to the community. Very good. Now, uh, what was it like growing up out in Blue Springs, Missouri? Um, you know, it was, a, it was a great opportunity. I think that when you're an athlete in certain situations, um, it, 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 I had a great time. It, it was a little different from coming from Redemptorist, where it's primarily minority, um, than going out to Blue Springs, where there was probably only about eight to ten of us there in the whole entire school district. Really? Yeah. And that was, what year was that? That was uh, 90, I went from 90 to 94. That's very interesting. Now, um, when you were uh, growing up in grade school, did you play football, uh, sports? Um, and I played basketball, but that's about it. My mom didn't want me to play football. <laughs> and so oh, I only could play uh, basketball, and that was it. So uh, I didn't play football until my junior year. You know, they say education is the pathway of life, uh, a pathway to life and light. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I definitely think that's true. I think that, um, you know, I think that athletics teaches you uh, a way of, you know, teamwork, uh, teaches ethics and morals, but education, I think that so many individuals are dependent upon making it to, uh, for being professionals, and they don't realize that, you know, when that's done, you're going to have something, you need to have something to fall back on, and education is that. 
Right now, was did your mother go to? She she you say she was one of the first person in her family to graduate yes. from college. Yes, yeah, she went to uh, Central State Missouri down in Warrensburg. Okay, so oh, he was great, get happy. <laughs> we thought you were gonna say Central State of Ohio, HBCU, but now call us. We're not giving you no bread this morning. Man. We still gonna throw you the rapper, okay? So we don't even have to worry about it this morning. CMS in Warrensburg, Missouri. Yes, that's very good. You know what? In, 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 in your in your uh, pathway to through life, what are some of the more interesting phenomena or philosophies that you have learned? Uh, you know, I think that I, I want to hear that because I think you got something to say about that. You know, I, I think that growing up, my mom always told me to work hard, and I think that being a minority, I think that you know you have to work harder than other people. Um, I've known that from when you're in a law firm. Um, being in a bigger law firm, I think that, and being a minority, some people just think that you're in that place because you are a minority. And so I would like to, and that's one of the things that we always try to teach our mentees is that you gotta work hard. And, you know, it, it, that's the way it is nowadays. It's yeah. just we gotta work hard because we are a minority to prove that we are supposed to be in that situation. Right. Now, uh, uh, travel, have you had the chance to travel? Sure, yeah. Have you had, where are some interesting places that you've got? Uh, you know, and about three years ago, my wife and I were, were able to travel to Europe, and that was a, a great experience. Mm -hmm. and, um, and even tomorrow, my partner and I are actually going to Chicago to meet with some clients, so we're really excited. That's very good. Now, what about exposure? I mean, because I think that, you know, sometimes our kids in Kansas City like exposure, and I believe exposure is a pathway to, to, to see in the light and life as well. Exposure. I mean, exposure could be like going to Europe is one thing, but exposure could be going to a forum or a seminar, a seminar where you are being enlightened on a certain subject. What about this, this, this phenomenon about exposure? I, I think that, um, I think people have opportunities and they need to be able to take advantage of those opportunities. I had an opportunity to, for example, my mom moved me to Blue Springs and, you know, I could have sat there and didn't, you know, play sports or um, be educated, but I was able to take advantage of those opportunities. So I think that when you're given an opportunity, I think you need to be able to take advantage of those opportunities and that will lead you to um, exposure. Right. Now, you, and you believe in helping somebody, right? Oh, I, I try to, yes. 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 Now, let me ask you this. What do you what do you think about this MU season down in Columbia, Missouri? Well, you know, I'm very excited about the MU season. I think that um, they have a great coaching staff there. I, I generally lead all the football talks with my partner Corby, and uh, so I'll just probably leave it at that. Right now, um, every every Tuesday and Thursday, first and also, I want to appreciate your your business. I'm waiting for you to get started on your 90 day challenge, the Body by Body by Silas challenge. I'm excited. I'm just waiting for the product. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to you getting started on it, and also looking for doing maybe a party challenge party with you and Corey down at your law firm somewhere in the near future. But every Tuesday and Thursdays at the Lincoln Building on 18th and Vine. We have a challenge, what we call a challenge party for those people who want to lose weight or get fit. And that's every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. And uh, I always really believe this. I always will. I learned this in the Cub Scouts. Uh, I'm 62 now. I learned it 50 years ago when I was Lord Nelson's size age. And I don't know why it stuck with me, but we had this term that said, to look sharp is to be sharp. And it says a lot about who you are when you meet the presence of the public every day. It's to look sharp, it's to be sharp, and we enjoyed uh, coming to you this morning. We had two great uh, guests, Mr. Corby Jones and Mr. Quentin Jennings. And again, folks, to look sharp is to be sharp, be safe out there, and help somebody. And thank you very much. Thanks, Jim, for having us on. Thank you. Real appreciate it. Appreciate it.